Hey everyone, so today we are going to talk about Bayes' theorem, one of the very important topic in probability. So John Bayes was the one who came up with this theorem with the definition or with the help of the definition of conditional probability. Okay, many times this is also called as inverse or the reverse probability theorem. Why that is the case, we will have a look. Okay, so instead of stating the theorem directly, let me uh, give you the basic case and then we will go for the general case. So suppose if you have two events A and B from a sample space S, then what is probability of A given B? This is the definition. And what is probability of B given A? This is the definition. Okay. Now from here you can observe, I can take probability of B over here and I can take probability of A over here. Once I do that, my right hand sides are equal. Therefore our left hand sides will become equal. So what do we get? We get that probability of B into probability of A given B is equal to probability of a into probability of b given a so if you take this over here in the denominator then probability of b given a is given by this formula so if you know probability of a given b and you want to find the probability of b given a the reverse or the inverse probability then we use this formula Okay, so this is what the main aim of Bayes theorem. Now, given a probability of A given B and probability of B and probability of A, we can find this quantity. But many times you will see when you will come across a problem, you may not be knowing this directly, probability of A. So here we apply total probability theorem. Now what is total probability theorem? So you can see my earlier lecture. Let me just briefly recall it for you. So here, if you have a partition of a sample space so here i have two events a and b i want to find probability of a so you divide this into b and b complement and suppose this is your event a so what is this a a is nothing but a intersection with b and a intersection with b complement they are disjoint so probability of a is nothing but probability of a intersection with b and probability of a intersection with b complement now again by the definition of conditional probability what is this this is nothing but probability of B into probability of A given B plus what is this probability of B complement into probability of A given B complement. So the formula goes like this. This is the numerator. This won't come divided by this. Okay. So once you have probability of A given B, so you have this quantity as well. And what will be probability of A given B complement? It will be I mean you can easily find that okay so this is the formula that you have so in earlier case we had b and b complement as the partition of our sample space now in general we have this suppose five partition set or in general n and if i ask what is probability of b1 given a okay so suppose this is some your event a over here which is with the intersections so what is this again by the base theorem what you have is this is what probability by definition it is b1 intersection a upon probability of a what is this this is probability of b1 into probability of a given b1 upon probability of a right so this is what we have by our basic definition now what is probability of a now by total law of probability probability of a you can just split it up it is probability of a intersection b1 plus probability of a intersection b2 so by total law of probability it is probability of bi into probability of a given bi and your i is running from 1 to 5 or in general 1 to n so this is the formula to find the probability of b1 given that event a has occurred okay so once you have this now similarly you can do for b2 so here you will have two similarly for b3 so in general if you do this for bj this is probability of bj probability of bj where j can be anything from 1 to n so this is what in general the base theorem is people usually learn the formulas which i don't like so this is an easy way to remember okay so first write down the definition then split up this so if I want to find this, here the reverse will come. And here you have bj, so here probability of bj. And we divide by the total probability law or the total law of probability. Law of total probability. Okay. So now I hope the base theorem is clear. Now let us go for some examples. So here is the first example. 
सपोज दैट द कीवर्ड सन ग्लासेस इट ऑकर्स इन ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑफ द टू हंड्रेड नोन स्पैम ईमेल्स एंड टू ऑफ द हंड्रेड गुड ई मेल्स ओके सो वेन एवर एन ई मेल इज कमिंग इन टू अर इनबॉक्स इफ इट कंटेन्स द वर्ड सन ग्लासेस देन लाइक इट ऑकर्स इन ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑफ द टू हंड्रेड नोन स्पैम ओके सो इफ देर आर टू हंड्रेड स्पैम ई मेल्स आर कमिंग देन इट ऑकर्स इन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड इट इज गोइंग इन द स्पैम एंड टू ऑफ द हंड्रेड गुड ई मेल्स ओके सो बिकॉज इट मे हैपन दैट समन इज गिविंग यू कॉम्प्लीमेंट ओवर एन ई मेल सो यू मे से योर सन ग्लासेस आर गुड ओके सो इट्स नॉट अ स्पैम सो यू शुड नॉट गो इन टू दैट स्पैम इन बॉक्स यू टू अज्यूम दैट बोथ द स्पैम एंड नॉट स्पैम ई मेल इमेज ई मेल्स आर इक्वली लाइकली टू ऑकर एंड नाउ यू टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट द इनकमिंग ई मेल कंटेनिंग द वर्ड सन ग्लासेस इज स्पैम ओके सो वॉट विल द प्रोबेबिलिटी नाउ लेट ए बी द इवेंट दैट द ई मेल इज स्पैम ओके सो वॉट बी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इट इज एन इवेंट दैट द ई मेल इज नॉट स्पैम ओके एंड वॉट इज माई बी इवेंट दैट इट कंटेन द वर्ड सन ग्लासेस इट कंटेन्स योर ई मेल कंटेन्स द वर्ड सन ग्लासेस देन वॉट विल बी बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट इट डो नॉट कंटेन द वर्ड सन ग्लासेस सो दिस आर माई इवेंट्स वॉट इज गिवन टू मी वॉट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए इट इज वन बाय टू एंड वॉट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट वन बाय टू बिकॉज दे अज्यूमिंग दैट दे आर इक्वली लाइकली टू ऑकर ओके सो वेदर इज स्पैम और नॉट इट इज इक्वली लाइकली टू ऑकर सो इट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी इज वन बाय टू वॉट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ बी गिवन ए दैट मीन्स प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट इट कंटेन द वर्ड सन ग्लासेस एंड इट इज इन द स्पैम ई मेल Given that the email is spam, so it is nothing but twenty-five by two hundred, which is nothing but one by eight. And what is probability of B given a compliment? That means it contains the word sunglasses, but it is not spam. So that it is two by hundred, which is one by fifty. So what do we need to find? That the probability that the incoming email containing the word sunglasses is spam. Okay, so probability that it is the spam and it contains the word sunglasses. So what is this? This is nothing but probability of A into probability of B given A divided by probability of B. Now that you can split by law of total probability. So probability of A into probability of B given A plus probability of A complement into probability of B given A complement. What is probability of A? One by two. What is probability B given A? It is one by eight. You are also one by sixteen. Plus probability of a complement one by two, a given b given a complement is one by fifty. Now I think, now I think you can easily solve. So that's how one can apply Bayes' theorem to find the reverse way. Okay, so we wanted to find the prob probability that the incoming email containing the word sunglasses is spam. So we know that the incoming email it it contains the word sunglasses. What is the probability that it is spam? So probability of A given B. What we had probability of B given A. That means it contains the word sunglasses. Given that the email is spam. So I hope this example is clear to you. Let's go for the second example. Okay. So here is a second example. Suppose Jatin speaks truth four out of five times. Okay. And uh, so now suppose I am in some uh, gambling place. Okay. I should not say that, but just for the fun, let me take. I mean. Since this is an example of that time. That's why. So I'm at the gambling place, and uh, I am the one who is throwing the die. Okay, and I speak truth four out of the five times. Now, if I say when I throw a die, I say it's a four. What is the probability that is actually four? Okay, so that's what the question is. So what I want to find. So first of all, I should define the events. Okay, so let's do that first. So let J be the event that Jatin says four has occurred. Okay, and now let B one be the event that actually, actually four has occurred. Actually four occurs, and B one prime be the event that four does not occur. Okay, so either four will occur or it will not occur. So this will be our complete space. 
okay and now i want to find probability that actually it is a 4 that means actually the 4 has occurred given that j event so this is what i'm supposed to find right because what is the probability that it is actually a 4 and b1 is the event that actually the 4 has occurred and jatin j is the event that jatin is saying that 4 has occurred so what is the probability of b1 given j okay now what is this again by the formula probability of b1 into the other way probability of j given b1 upon probability of j but now either it it has occurred it has not occurred so again by law of probability probability of b1 probability of j given b1 plus probability of b2 into probability of j given b2 probability of b1 the actually four occurs so there are six outcomes one two three four five six probability that four occurs is one by six into probability of j given b1 okay so what is that probability of j intersection b1 upon so what is the probability of j, probability that jatin is saying four has occurred given that actually the four has occurred that means that means what is the probability that jatin is speaking the truth it is four by five upon these two things are same so one by six into four by five plus probability of b2 that means four does not occur that means the complement of 1 by 6 which is 5 by 6 into probability of j given b2 probability of speaking truth is 4 by 5 probability of speaking not true is 1 by 5 cool so you see it's very simple provided you define your events properly and you know that you have to use the base theorem okay now let's go for the last example so suppose of people having covid 19 93 percent of the rt pcr test detects the disease okay so if you have a covid you give your sample then 93 percent of the times it will say yes you have a disease and seven seven percent of the times it will go undetected okay so you give a sample it may happen you have but it will come out to be negative of people free from covid 98 percent are judged negative that means you don't have negative you just have cold cough you give your sample you don't have covid and 98 percent of the times it's guaranteed that it will come that covid negative only two percent of times it may come that you don't have covid but actually it comes out that you have covid okay because see what is what are these tests they just see how the cells or the enzymes are behaving right something like that so this is the data we have now from a large population or whatever the data set you have five percent have covid and one person is selected random from that population You'll give rt pcr test is given results has come out positive question is what is the probability that a person actually having the covid okay so that is the question what is the first step we should define our events okay so let's see with the event or let me talk call cp actually i should not use two letters but just as an exception for this let me use cp two letters okay cp so this is the event that the person is covid positive person is covid positive and let a be the event that the test has come out to be positive test has come out to be positive right because what is the probability that the person is actually having the covid okay so person is having covid and the rt pcr should also give you that it's positive right so what is the probability of the person is having covid given that the test has also comes out to be positive so that will guarantee that he has covid okay so this is what i'm supposed to find okay so now what is probability that the person is covid positive so right from a large population five percent is having the covid right so it is five percent which is nothing but 0 0.05 what is the probability cp complement that the person is not covid positive okay so which is the complement of this which is 0 0.95 95 percent what is the probability that the test has come positive given that the person is covid positive okay so what is our sensitivity rate it is 93 percent so 0 0.93 what is the probability that the person i mean the test has come out positive but he's not actually covid positive so it was how much 98 is judged negative that means two percent is the red false positivity rate right so this is two percent that means 0 
and yeah i think our job is over now what is probability of cp given a it is probability of cp into the other way probability of a given cp upon probability of a but again you divide a as cp and cp complement so it is probability of cp into probability a given cp plus probability of cp complement into probability of a given cp complement and i think i have found out all the values so yeah if you get time just solve it and post the final answer into the comment section so i hope this lecture will make you feel good about bayes theorem if you have any other doubt you can ask me in the comment section and if everything is clear do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you